Hello and welcome to Model Dads. Today we're going to take a look at the visual treat that is Ruben Torregrossa and Mig Jimenez's 2014 Painting Wargaming Tanks. Painting Wargaming Tanks is a 96 page colour illustrated soft bound book available for 22 euros or around £16.50. Following a foreword from one of the authors and an accessible introduction to the tools of the trade, the reader is introduced to two methods, the easy way and the advanced way. The easy way aims to put well painted vehicles on the table as quickly as possible and is illustrated through a step by step painting of an early Sherman, a Stuart M5 and a Panther G. The advanced way provides an introduction to a range of refined and by necessity more time consuming techniques that produce a more accomplished finish on a range of vehicles including the hypothetical E100 Jagdpanzer, a Panther, Panzers 3 and 4, SDK of said 251 half track, a T34 and the ubiquitous Tiger 1. Of course, as the authors are keen to point out, there's nothing to stop you mixing and matching a range of easy and advanced techniques dependent upon your level of confidence, proficiency and time. To get the most out of this book you'll really need to have access to an airbrush, but the falling price of Iowata derivative airbrushes like the Neo means that this isn't as unachievable as it once might have been. Utilising the principles of zenithal modulation, don't let that put you off, the easy method focuses on successive layers of lighter base coats mapped to MIG Ammo's range of paints, an enamel pin wash followed by streaking. A guide to simple but effective chipping and the liberal application of pigments follows. The reader is taken through these steps on three different models through clear photography and accompanying text. The advanced methods follow the same principles but extend them to include panel modulation, masking, a wider variety of streaking effects, splashes, stains, stumping, rust, chipping and the subtle use of pigments using a range of identified MIG Ammo's products and oils. These techniques are applied over a range of predominantly German vehicles with the inclusion of a T-34 to illustrate their application to green vehicles. What did I learn from this publication? Well, there's not a lot that's genuinely new, with a lot of what's covered similar to the contents of MIG's previous publication, Frequently Asked Questions too. That said, if you subscribe to this approach to painting, and I do, the published application of these methods to vehicles in this scale is new. As someone who has tried to adapt these methods with varying degrees of success, Painting War Games Tanks provides inspiration as well as practical tips. So, to give you some idea, painting highlights rather than dry brushing, as I've tended to do in the past, after weathering makes fine details pop. Piling pigments onto a coat of fixative between tracks and then sealing adds texture and tonal variation. Airbrushing dust coloured highlights to the edge of tracks creates a welcome contrast. Using enamel or oil filters to imitate fading or highlight a particular aspect of a vehicle is useful. This aspect of painting, particularly the use of coloured filters to enhance light and shade, has encouraged me to purchase my first oils and have a go at stumping. And this leads me to a minor critique. Whilst the step-by-step -step photos and associated key are clear, it would be useful if the exact colours of the oils indicated were referenced in the same manner as MIG Ammo's products. I could determine some of these from the photos, but it would have removed the guesswork. The legibility of the translation is acceptable, but could have benefited from careful proofreading. The meaning of the accompanying text is legible, if not always grammatically correct. However you may feel about your te painting technique, if you subscribe to this style of painting and are interested in improving your technique, I wholeheartedly recommend Painting Wargaming Tanks. Easy and advanced routes clearly demonstrate how simple changes can yield effective results, all wrapped up in one accessible, well-illustrated and affordable volume, top-notch.